Justine, we have a question here from Keen Charlton from St. Louis Community College. And he wants to know, as you work as an engineer, what is the best part of your day? I suppose um, working, I work as a consultant, so I work on different pharmaceutical projects. There's actually two different jobs I've had in my career. So I've had, I've worked as a design engineer, which is actually what I'm doing now. I work for a German company, so I fly a bit back and forth to Germany. Um, so travel is quite good about this stage. I work in the office, so I design process equipment. So it's quite satisfying that you actually have, you draw different schematic drawings. So you are actually designing the system that's going to be built in a couple of years time. But then the other side of it is actually, actually I've worked on a site before when the, the, the plant has been built. So we actually commission and test the equipment. So it's very different. It's much more hands-on. You're, you're getting the system up and running. If it won't work, you have to figure out how to fix it. So even though I'm still a process engineer in the same company, I've actually done two different roles. So the main part I think that every day is satisfying is that it's very rewarding. It's, you actually have a say in designing a pharmaceutical plant and you get the satisfaction of fixing a problem. So no, no two days are the same in my job mm -hmm. either. Um, and it's very rewarding that you can actually make a difference in some ways. You have, you, you're not pushing paper. That I suppose you have more of a, an impact on the design and things. Great, very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And Patrick, we have another question from Peter from Balbriggan Educate Together. And he wants to know what's the biggest challenges about studying computer or software engineering? Um, I suppose there's two, uh, specifically for kind of computers and software. I think the biggest challenge was that it, it does help if you have some kind of logical kind of mindset. If you kind of like maths, kind of sciences, they can go from A, B, C, D, and E. Um, that, that definitely does kind of help. But like I had a lot of friends, like that kind of came naturally to me, but I had some friends that that didn't come quite as naturally to. But you kind of just develop that and you can kind of learn that in kind of college just through the different courses that you choose that you just it can it and that's like in the first year in college like you just you, you kind of train yourself to kind of learn a certain kind of way and i could see that even myself and others that when i was in the programming some of the courses that i had to do initially they were kind of tough but you kind of stick with it and then you can you can start to see how it all makes sense and then once you understand that logic it, uh, it really helps so understanding the logic of it it was probably one of the biggest challenges um, and that's an aptitude that comes more easy to some more than others uh, and then secondly I think one of the other big things more kind of just generally I found my biggest challenge in the first year was that university was a lot more freer than school at school you had to be in like nine to four whatever every day and your mom got you out of bed and all, and all that but then when you got to university it was um, like for whatever reason I missed about six out of the first nine weeks in, in college like I was away and, and Canada and, and all these type of things and, uh, and when I kind of came back I had a, had a lot of catch up to do the stuff kind of put me in the back foot and you also saw as well that a lot of other kind of people kind of took the first year a little bit more handily and then they did a bit of catch up so um, just generally speaking kind of the freedom of university was probably one of the biggest challenges I had in the first year. Probably a good thing too though, <laughs> gives you an opportunity to, to yeah, try out new things. Make sure that I kind of kept up in the following years all right in the fall Great. Surely. So, yeah. And actually, Rachel, while, while Patrick mm. was talking there, he mentioned maths as, as an issue that may, some people might have. Is it a requirement that you need to do ordinary or higher level to do these sort of engineering careers? I mean, it, it does depend, but not necessarily, no. I mean, for a lot of the level eight courses, it could be a requirement. So I think it's worth doing the research and find that out. However, we do see people and candidates come through that are getting great jobs that would have done maybe level sevens. Um, they're kind of ordinary degrees and moving into honours degrees may take a little a little bit longer but you come out with the same results same qualification in the end so you know yes it's a, it, it can help but no it's not essential great thank you